Will Project Lasers ever become a full game? Hey guys, it's me, Robloxian, and welcome back to another video. Now, before the video starts, make sure to hit that subscribe bell button, turn on post notifications, leave a like, and comment down below if you haven't already. Now, with them things being done, let's get into the video and hopefully you guys enjoy. Hey guys, so today we'll be talking about Project Laser Zombies, and will it ever become a full game? So, Project Laser Zombie is basically exactly kind of like Call of Duty Roblox. Now, it, I guess you can say it is Call of Duty Roblox in a way, because that's what it goes by, Call of Duty Roblox. Now, as it said, will it ever be a full game? As you know, Call of Duty has like these stats that you can save up and buy better guns and customize your guns. Well, Project Lasers just give you the camera. It gives you like different camels at random, but it's still a pretty fun game to play with your friends or just to see how high you can survive. Now, with me, with my personal opinion, my personal opinion, they should add a leaderboard to see who survives the longest or the most rounds in the game. Now, you can play up to five people, unlike Call of Duty, which it's kind of unfair, but it's kind of fair at the same time. And you know, you just go through wave from wave from wave from wave. Beating up zombies or shooting zombies in a way. <laughs> I guess you can say you're killing zombies. Now, one of the unique things is its guns, and its guns is a personal favorite of mine. There's a uh, many guns in the game that you can use and kill zombies with. Now, a lot of bullets do fastly run out of the gun, so after a high level, I recommend you buy a gun off the wall if you haven't already, but like, <laughs> just to buy bullets, because after a while, you won't be getting that max ammo, and then you'll have to switch guns, switch guns, and then switch back to the guns, but then you realize you don't have any bullets in the guns, and you know, it's kind of, you're out of luck. But back to the matter at hand, Project Laser Zombies is a very, very popular game, and I even love playing it but i feel like it should have a leaderboard and that it it probably would be fun to have a leaderboard to see who's at top and all the players reaching for leaderboards now that could get it more players but the concurrent players that it already has is fine as well now project laser does have a leveling system such as if you survive or get in a certain amount of xp you'll get like a lot of levels but it only has one map as of now and i don't know if it'll ever add like another map I see that they'll have they have updates on the game, but I don't know if it'll ever be like a full game ever. And if it does, this year is probably the best year to do it. Now, I haven't really made a video on Project Laser Zombies due to the fact that a lot of people have been saying that it's pretty toxic in there because if you get down, if it's your first time playing like Call of Duty on your computer. It gets pretty toxic because you know you won't be able to know as much as everyone else you'll get down and people will just be angry at you now it's nothing to fear because like some of the pro players and og players like me just go for newbies and help newbies learn to play the game now it's really fun but at the same time it can get really competitive to see who gets the most points who kills the most zombies and just things in that close of nature now the game has been updating quite regularly which help us to believe that another map or another like the full release will be released soon and some people that even used to work or help out project laser before it even went to public said that there are so many more maps that the official release will have but for now we're focusing on this one map seeing how it's still in beta now if that was the case why didn't they rename it project laser zombies beta I think they do and some people just miss out on it but i don't know if they have it right now but hopefully it will be released with more maps that players can choose or vote on in their decision now as i said this is a really fun game to play with your friends or just play in general but without stats it really doesn't have any meaning or any things to really work on without a story it's kind of still boring and without any other game modes other than just surviving it can get boring at times so will they ever have it who knows we'll have to probably wait into the future but hopefully this video helped you out on the game and now bring us to the end of today's video if you feel like we miss any aspect or point in this list in your opinion feel free to provide us with input in the comment sections below also a reminder if you haven't already hit that subscribe bell button turn on post notifications leave a like and comment down below your favorite part in the video and i'll see you guys later Peace.